Carolyn Downey is a reporter for the National Review. Uh, Carolyn joins me now. Big picture. Has Trump got this sewn up already? I think since day one, Trump's rivals have been playing to lose. Trump's decision to boycott the debates last night and all of them, I think, has never been more vindicated. I mean, you saw Haley and DeSantis. They came away looking exhausted and diminished. And even though Haley has outperformed expectations, I know you just did an interview with her, I think she and DeSantis have failed to galvanize the young voters and other key demographics, but especially Gen Z Republicans. What do, does Trump have much support amongst young people? Oh, I yes. Mean, 35 and under. That, that, I call that young, OK? <laughs> Yes, no, he has captured them. 61% of Gen Z Republicans support Trump, and I think that number, number will well, go up. Wait a second. That's 61% of Gen Z Republicans. Right, right. I'm talking about youngsters 35 and under across the board. Mm, well, I do think it's fair to say that Gen Z generally is moving leftward. But we just saw some recent data showing that young men are moving towards the right in droves in greater numbers than in, in the last couple decades. And I, I think some of the cultural undercurrents are driving that. I think many young men feel disaffected. I think they feel like they're, uh, there's so many obstacles in their way preventing them from succeeding in America. And Trump speaks to them. And you add to that young Jewish voters. I cover academia for National Review. I think many young Jewish voters are increasingly disgruntled by the campus anti-Semitism scandals that are running rampant right now. And I think Trump and the GOP could be more appealing to them. Now, as you know, we spoke to Nikki Haley in our last hour of this program. She says she will cut taxes and she will secure the border. OK, I don't quite sure she can do that or how she's going to do it. But does that turn young voters on? Not particularly. I'm, the border, I think, may as... I mean, uh, my generation, we're in our 20s, we're getting older. As we start to buy homes, as we start to see rising cost of living, we're, we're trying to, you know, make a life in, the, in our own communities. The immigration crisis is now trickling down into my generation. I think that resonates. But taxes is a very old playbook. Yeah. I'm not so sure that Nikki Haley is, is going to win on, on that pitch. I think Trump is a little bit more current when it comes to that. What would you say is the biggest turn on for young voters? I'd say the biggest turn on is definitely cost of living. I, I think it's absolutely, st I mean, this is actually where my generation starts to sympathize with the left, is when you see the appreciation of housing costs in Florida, where I grew up, it's, we can't afford to live in the neighborhoods in which we grew up. My childhood home, I couldn't afford it today. I couldn't afford to live in the same neighborhood, the same town. I have to go to a completely different underdeveloped part of Florida in order to make that work. I think uh, my generation left and right, we're, uh, we're really struggling to see how we can make it in America well, as adults. Well, do young folks associate, the, you're talking about inflation, cost of living. Obviously, yeah. Do they associate inflation with Biden? Yes, absolutely. I, th I think they do. I think it's pretty clear that over COVID, the record spending just jigged up the economy, uh, the economy so artificially that it, it drove up the cost of living across commodities, across food. You see all these Gen Zers on TikTok complaining about their average basket of goods, how the, the groceries ticket. We don't even have families. A lot of us are single or we're dual income, no kids. And our, our grocery bill is astronomical. It, it's almost it almost defies reason. I'm I mean, I live in New York City. Granted, this is a little bit more of an inflationary environment. I'm appalled at what I pay at the grocery store. And that's before you get to gas and yeah. other necessities. Uh, aren't we all? Believe me. Uh, Carolyn, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks Interesting for perspective. Me. Thank you.